Ε, βρισκόμαστε λοιπόν εδώ στα γραφεία του Anthony Web, όπου σε λίγο θα γίνει τα εγγένεια της έκθεσης της, έκθεσης της Michelle James. Η Michelle ε, είναι μια ε, θαυμάσια καλλιτέχνη. Ε, την είχαμε ε, απολαύσει προηγουμένως, είχαμε δει τα ε, θέματα της και προηγουμένως. Είναι μια ευκαιρία εδώ, θα παραμείνουν οι ε, πίνακες εδώ για τουλάχιστον δύο μήνες. Είναι μια ιδιαίτερη ε, προσπάθεια που κάνει το Anthony Web για να προωθήσει καλλιτέχνες και η σημερινή καλλιτέχνης είναι η Michelle Chains. We're going to talk to the artist Michelle uh, Chains. She's with us is uh, just a few minutes before the opening of the exhibition. Good evening, Michelle. Hello, how are you? I'm okay, you? Good, fine, thank you. Nice to see you anyway. You too. You look nice and uh, your paintings are uh, very exciting. Lovely, yes, thank you. I saw them all, you yeah. know. Would you like to give me a little bit of information about um, the preparation of this? How long, uh, you know, uh, you've been uh, working for this? This takes the, quite a long time on each painting. Um, the, the, the larger ones, they can take up to a month of uh, preparation. Um, they have to be um, gessoed, which is like a, a primer, uh, as if you're painting a house. You know, you put a base coat and then you apply your paint, your whatever you want to do to your painting, you know. Uh -huh. So, for example, this one behind me, that is uh, an acrylic on canvas, a primer underneath, and then your acrylics with the background. And then I do gold leaf paper, which is um, a technique of very, very fine tissue but it's gold, Very, it's quite expensive to buy and they come in sheets and you have to layer them in place and then you do the silhouette of this particular painting which is uh, Brighton Pavilion and that can take up to two weeks to three weeks to do. To do. Did you have to use a photo or how, how are you doing it? I mean, or um, is yeah, it imagination? I had, I had imagination because I go to Brighton a lot uh -huh. and uh, I had a photo on my iPad, yeah. so I did a, uh, a silhouette, uh -huh. and then I um, put it, transferred it onto a larger pa piece of paper, took it, have a photograph of it, and then got it, um, you know, la a larger format, and then I started my painting, and it, I, I etched it in pencil first. Okay, uh, would you like uh, to give more information about the one behind you? Oh, this, this one, one behind here. me, yeah? yeah. Okay. Um, this one, this particular painting took a lot of time because it's, um, first of all, it's resin, which is epoxy resin, which is a form of, it's like um, a, high, a high glue uh, with a gloss finish, like a mirror finish, okay? And I, I applied some sand and some very fine shingle from beach to get this rough effect. And then I applied my paints which are oil-based paints, and they take forever to dry. You know, you put one coat, it takes a week, and then you apply another coat another week, and so on. And then you varnish it with a spray varnish, for a special spray varnish for exhibitions, which, give, which gives it this high-gloss finish. And you have a painting, uh, it, and it took about a month to do. That was quite a tedious, month. a month, yeah. Okay, in this it case, has to dry. In this case, would you mind telling me how much uh, you know, you spend how much money you spend to uh, do this? Well, I I do my paintings price-wise. Um, this particular painting is about six, just under seven hundred pounds, right? I put my time factor in there and all the oil paints. And as you probably know, oil paints are very expensive to buy, and I, you get very very small quantities of oil. You you don't really mix them to get the texture and the varnishes as well. And that's all this sort of materials, my time. Um, and I have to hire a studio to do my work. So in that cost, when I sell my painting, is if you like the hire of the, the, the place where I do my art, because obviously I can't do this at home, um, because these paints are toxic, you know, this, this resin is toxic. So I have to hire a studio and that's quite expensive. Okay, but the price is about 700? Eh? Yeah, about 700 pound, yeah, which is quite, quite reasonable in, in today's... Uh, is this the bigger one uh, you have, the biggest one you have in uh, this is the biggest one I've got at the moment, yes. 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 How many um, uh, you know, paintings do you have in this uh, it's exhibition? 15 in total. 15 in total, yes. Okay. All right, and what's the next step? I mean, what, what do you do after that? What, after I've done the paintings? Yes. Um, 
Well, it all depends. I mean, sometimes, really, I do most of my selling through exhibitions because, obviously, the general public come in, they look at my work. Um, you know, it's a, it's a kind of... It's basically like if you're buying jewellery. You get a piece of jewellery, you either like it or you don't like it. And it's the same with art. Um, the art, they look at my art and they think, I really like that. And really the cost doesn't come into it at the time because they see a picture, they want it, and usually that's the main criteria for buying my pictures. And it's usually people like, it could be for their home, it can be for a B&B, &B, you know, a hotel or a restaurant or a wine bar. Um, and I've actually done some for uh, private businesses in the West End. I have, I've got a good client um, and they own a PR business in Great Portland Street and they bought five of my paintings, the spin art ones, which are around, around the other side. Um, and that's done on a machine. So uh, in this case you do uh, paintings in order. I mean, yeah. someone can order. I want yeah. this. Oh, yeah. And yeah, yeah, because I have a Facebook. Um, a Facebook page, and you can see all my art on this face on the Facebook, my website, and um, I have a portfolio, so I can go to a client, take my portfolio with me, show them what I can do, and then they tell me what colours they like. Um, and say, for example, it's um, a coffee bar on a seaside resort. They want a collage, and I've got one up there of butter dragonflies. They want something like that with um, seashells seahorses, you know, the sea theme. And I take it from that. Okay, Michelle, I wish you all the best for tonight. Thank you very much. And, uh, you know, um, good luck Thank you for with the future. Thank you very Thanks. much. Thank you. Έχουμε λοιπόν τον κύριο Τόνι Ουρή, ο ιδιοκτήτης του Anthony Webb, ο οποίος θα μας δώσει περισσότερα επιτομέρειες για το λόγο και τους λόγους μάλλον, που απεφάσισε να φιλοξενεί και ένα καλλιτέχνη κάθε δύο μήνες ο οποίος καλλιτέχνης θα εκθέτει τα εκθέματά του εδώ και θα παραμένουν εδώ για τους επισκέπτες. Κύριε Ουρή, κα, καλησπέρα κα, κανονικά. Κα, κα, ε, είναι πολύ καλή ιδέα αυτή, την ε, επενούμε. Πέστε μας τους λόγους, πώς ξεκίνησε αυτή η ιδέα. Έχει τρία χρόνια που το κάνω αυτό το πράγμα. Άκαψα με μια εταιρεία που ήταν όλων artists και είχαμε κάθε μήνα δραφητικών άρτης που έδειχνε τους πίνακες τους. Αλλά τον τελευταίο χρόνο, φέτος, άκαψα να κάνω μόνος μου και δώνω δωρεάν το μέρος στον καρδιτέχνη για να αφαίρουμε το ταλέντο της γειτονιάς στο Πάμε Σκριν Δάμε και να έρχεται ο κόσμος που το Πάμε Σκριν γεμάτων πλασμάτων που θέλουν να αγοράζουν αυτά τα πράγματα και έρχονται μέσα και κοιτάζουν κάθε μέρα κύριε κάποιος. Σήμερα έχουμε κάμποσους, αλλά κάθε μέρα κάποιος έρχεται διαφορετικός. Έχουμε και κάμποσους που έρχονται ήδη κάθε δυο μήνες να δουν τα νέα. Έχουμε τώρα και μέσα στο διαθήμιση μέσα στο περιοδικό μου, το Πάμε Σκριν Σάρθ Γκέι Λάιφ. Στο πάνι σε 12 χιλιάδε σπίτια έγιναν το περιοδικό. Στο μαθαίνει ο κόσμο όλο να κρατάμε αυτοκίνητε εικόνε. Έρχονται δηλαδή και πελάτε εδώ, εκτό από πελάτε του γραφείου, έρχονται οι άνθρωποι ενδιαφερόμενοι να δουν του πίνακε. Ναι, 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 σωστά. Και παραμένουν δύο μήνε, ο κάθε καλλιτέχνη δύο μήνε. Δύο μήνε, ναι. Το περιοδικό πάνει έξω κάθε δύο μήνε και μαζί με το περιοδικό ενώ καλλιτέχνη. Πολύ ωραία, πολύ ωραία. Μέχρι τώρα είσαι ευχαριστημένο από όλη την. Πολλά, πολλά. Τα πρώτα θυκιό που κάναμε φέτο και οι θυκιό που λύσαν κάμποσα και 10% από όλα τα λεφτά που πουλιούνται πάνε στο charity στο North London Hospice. Πολύ ωραία, πολύ καλή ιδέα. Σα συγχαίρομαι γι' αυτό και ευχόμαστε να πάει πολύ καλά και αυτή η έκθεση. Ευχαριστώ. Ευχαριστώ πολύ. Hello everyone, thank you for coming to our latest artist. Michelle ja uh, Jane's here. Um, she's obviously got some lo lovely abstract art uh, displayed here. Uh, she's like the third artist in our community art gallery. Um, so feel free, look around. Um, you can see some more of her work in, in, in the book there on the table. Everything's for sale, so make sure um, um, you've got your checkbooks here and, and we also have credit card facilities. Uh -huh. Okay, um, I'll, I'll let Michelle say a couple oh, of words, and then, and, and then David will uh, open it officially. Okay. Thank you all for coming to my um, art gallery, my art exhibition, I should say. 
and um, please enjoy yourself. There's uh, refreshments, and um, please get your credit cards out and your <laughs> checkbooks. Um, and a percentage of the um, taking, like. sorry, percentage of the takings is actually going to the North Hospice. Uh, North Hospice. Yes, and uh, it's a very, very good cause. Mm -hmm. So you know, all your money is very welcome. Thank you very much. Pass you over to. Um, well, I, I open different events, and uh, I'm not sure different events need a different kind of opening. I'm not sure what sort of a painting, whether we sort of, you know, throw some paint or some... <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> but it's great to be here, and it's great to be able to open this event, yeah. and it's fantastic. Tony, thanks so much for, you know, this is the third of uh, this series. The third, yes. That's yeah, nice. and it's really good. It's fantastic. It just shows local business, community, how it comes together, and it comes together in a fantastic colourful way here and uh, it's a great space uh, to be able to just present your wonderful creativity and hope that people buy it and yeah. it's a great cause. Northland Hospice is, a, is a, you know, one of our jewels, community jewels in our crown. It's uh, just a great work not far from here in the state centre in Barrow Green and it, it needs the support and uh, the way it cares so well for loved ones. So it's a great, great cause and it's great to be here. It's great actually frankly to come, just being delayed train coming back in <laughs> Westminster and it's nice, lovely just to be able to just come here and sort of a sort of an oasis, an oasis of colour. Yeah, I see. And uh, it's great to be. So, look, uh, congratulations, Thank and you. I really hope it's successful. How long is it here for? Two months. Two months, brilliant. Yeah, so, this, yeah. every, every two months, we have a changeover of artists, and they're featured in the magazine that you're also featuring. Yeah. Uh, so, um, e e so if you, if you keep your eyes out for our magazine, Palms Green Southgate Life, 12,000 copies get distributed locally to all the doors, and it's also on our website, um, on the Anthony Web website. Uh, and every artist is featured in that as well. Brilliant. So, without further ado, yeah. it's not better this only. On, on Saturday, for example, before we're just formally open, on Saturday there's another community event, the Arnus uh, Dog Show, yes. Canine Capers. Now there, it's not going to be me, it's going to be my dog who's going to be opening it <laughs> in his own particular way. He'll do a work. But, uh, uh, but for me, I'm here in person and it's wonderful to be able to just open this. So, should we do a, should we just do a little countdown to a three, three, two, one, declare. Have a great few months. Thank you very much. Mr. Dave Barros. Yeah. Nice to see you again. Good to be here. It's, um, you know, uh, I just like to know your opinion about this way of um, exhibiting, the, you know, uh, an artist's work. If it's, you know, uh, the community going to be interested, and in, what do you think about the whole situation? Well, it's, it's wonderful having here on the high street, wonderful location here at Anthony Webb, go to Tony Uris, having this here. It's fantastic for an artist to be able to have the opportunity to display beautiful art right on, on the high street so people can just walk in and be able to see things. Now normally most people wouldn't go to the great efforts to go to an art gallery but to be able to just walk off the high street and see you know, some great art, art and it's all for a good cause as well so it's obviously to promote the artist, to see all the good, the good work she does, to be able to buy it if you want to, to put it on your, on your, on your, on your wall. And also, 10% of the proceeds goes to a great cause of the North London Hospice, which is such a, a good, important organisation that's supporting people at the end of their lives. Uh, what do you do yourself, you know, as an MP, to help those artists and uh, help the charity as well? Yes, yeah, so I'm just here, you know, to help open the um, help open the show, to to be able to sh to be able to be part of supporting the community and just to give it extra awareness on social media and elsewhere and just to spread the word that there's local talent here that's on display come and have a look, just enjoy enjoy the paintings and maybe buy them and, and support North London Hospice as well, it's a win-win for everyone so I just do my, play my part to help promote that Something else not to do with the competition yeah. with this, uh, you know, sorry, with the exhibition you know, um, uh, today uh, Mr. Anastasiadis and Mr. Akiji, they had a, a statement, they announced a, s a statement together about the, you know, a Cyprus problem. Yeah. Did you have any, um, you know, uh, idea what's happened and uh, do you support the, uh, 
um, you know, the idea of um, carrying on the, you know, uh, talks about uh, yeah. uh, to find the right solution for Cyprus. Yes, and, and I, I raised last week a question to the leader of the house, and this week, in fact, today, uh, Theresa Villiers, my colleagues, raised the question to the Prime Minister. And so it's getting attention to the British government, the fact that there is progress, there is positive talk. Um, President Anastasiades uh, refers to it being the end of the road, saying that uh, you know, they're very close to being able to come to an agreement. Uh, we need to see what that agreement is. Plainly, it has to be a just solution in the reunification of Cyprus. Uh, but we need to be cautious uh, to you know, welcome the fact that there's been a real intensive number of talks over the last couple of weeks. And uh, really, this is the time for Cyprus to reunify. That's what the President Anastasiades says, and it really is the time. Uh, and it's about time. For too long there's been uh, a lack of justice. And so I, I wish, the, you know, I wish those talks all the very best. And our government needs to be there ready to support uh, the Cypriots to be able to find that just solution and ensure that we play our part in, in giving the necessary assurance and support that we need to give. Are you very happy about the support of uh, our community? Yeah, absolutely. I, I enjoy the community. Um, who are many in this area. Um, yeah, no, I, I enjoy. We, we, I mean, they're friends uh, as well as constituents. And um, yeah, so that's right. So and I appreciate the support. And uh, yeah, it's, it's it's very good, very good to be part of a, a community that's vibrant, that's full of businessmen, full of creative talent and uh, full of people also keeping keeping me my feet close to close to the fire just challenging me ready to make sure that i'm speaking up for cyprus and as, as well as lots of other local issues and national issues that are happening they're a good active um, bunch of constituents and i welcome them how is the brexit going i mean how, where we stand now yeah, so so i heard today from the brexit secretary of state david davis that brexit means brexit there's no shadow of doubt and whilst Similar to the Cypriot talks in many ways, they're not doing a commentary on every, every negotiation tactic. That's not the, the way to negotiate. Nevertheless, you know, there's no going back, there's no second referendum, there's no back door to, the, to um, staying in the European Union. We need to make sure that we get the very best deal possible to respect the will of the majority of the people. I appreciate the community, some of the community had different ideas, but the will was to take control to ensure that we have better control over freedom of movement and should we get the best trade deal possible. And I'm encouraged that we can have an opt optimistic future as with our European neighbours within Europe, but not under so much control of the European Union. Thank you very much, Mr. Dave Barros, and uh, I wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you. The best.